will be videoed and streamed, so uh, it's going to be important to get people's feedback on this. All right, so uh, first let me say that there are a couple of things going on. Uh, some of you may have seen the emails this morning and so on about we have permission now to search for a coordinator for the NRT, so that's out. And um, Patty has been working like crazy trying to get the applications and everything together. We had a meeting of the planning committee yesterday, and we are so close that by uh, next week uh, we should be ready to roll. Zach has been putting in a lot of effort into this stuff. And Zach is going to have a table at the Entomological Society meeting. Do you want to mention anything? Uh, about well, that? everyone who's going to be there has already signed up for signed it. Signed up. Okay. Around about, uh, expo table. So hopefully he stops at our table without just standing around awkwardly for three days. Are we going to have swag at yes. our table? Yes. Okay. I, I think that does keep people on. Yeah, some stuff to hand out. I don't know. Well, I'm talking. I don't know if you want to carry the cubes. I, it's really whatever I'm willing to fly to Vancouver. So. <laughs> <laughs> Genetically modified seafood fish. Okay, great. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Less than four ounces. <laughs> Getting some customs on them. <laughs> so uh, that all is happening, and other people are going out to you know sort of talk this up. Uh, the uh, one pager is ready. And Patty, do you have any copies of that? Mm -hmm. Yes, Sharon brought some for us. Okay. And, uh, we Maybe will we'll hand those out. Yeah. Uh, do you have, is it easy enough to pass those around right now? <laughs> so that's all going on. Another thing that's actually not led by us, but by the North Carolina Radio and Broadcasting Group, they're going to have a uh, genetic engineering in the movies thing. I think it's November 14. 14th. And that's in the evening at the Hunt Library. Should be really interesting. It's a different kind of uh, presentation, I guess. Um, it's from Science Communicators of North that's Carolina. It. There you Skunk. go. Yeah, skunk. Um, so that, that should be good. Any, is there any other things? Um, I think people want to. Any other things going on? All right. Um, so, it's my pleasure to introduce Steve Briggs, who's going to uh, start out with us today. Steve is the uh, person who is getting the Plant Science Initiative rolling. So he started from scratch coming here. Uh, Steve has a very interesting background. Uh, of course, he's, he's brilliant because he's an entomologist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Steve started his career at University of Illinois in extension entomology. So he knows all about this stuff. He's moved through all sorts of jobs. He couldn't stay in one place. Couldn't keep right? a job. Right. Couldn't keep a job. He worked, I think, the BASF? Yeah. The BASF. But he also worked for the wheat growers of South Dakota. South Dakota like a $3 billion kind of enterprise. And I mean, he was in charge of all of these kind of things from marketing to just getting better wheat and all that. So he was, that was your, the job for this. So um, he's taken on a big responsibility and it's been actually interesting to watch him over the last year, year and a half, starting from zero in science initiative. So, uh, Steve's going to talk for about a half hour about this plant science initiative, and then we'll open it up to questions, especially about our interfacing between the two groups. Thank you, Fred, and, and I'm humbled and honored to be here today. I've, I've attended three or four of these uh, uh, when I can, my schedule allows. I, I just uh, enjoy the, uh, the presentations, number one, but also the, the uh, interdisciplinary group. You'll hear me say that word more than once today that's assembled here, and your uh, you're wishing to get better in different areas, and you'll hear me talk about that today. Also, a big supporter of uh, what GES is, and I have my last slide talks about your pillars and kind of the alignment with the Plant Science Initiative. And I'm just excited uh, to, to kind of talk to you today a little bit about the initiative, but I want to focus on the people piece. And unlike most of my presentations, uh, everybody wants to know about the building, and I do have two or three slides about the building that will come. Everybody likes to talk about that. But I remind people, number one, uh, it's about the science. The Plant Sciences Initiative will not be successful if science is not done, produced, refined, gotten better, etc. And to do the science, it takes great people. And we have great people at this university. You all work with them every day. 
I get to work with them every day, and I am probably more energized uh, at night than I am in the morning when I get here after talking to dis different people, different colleges, uh, different people that I would never in my own uh, fashion kind of seek out and, and get uh, instruction or, or discussion with. So it's been a fascinating year and a half as I've been here. Excited to lead this initiative as Joe and I were talking before you all arrived. This initiative is bigger than any one individual. And this initiative is really bigger than any one college or our university. But collectively, between our college, our university, our partnerships with other people in our state, in our country, and around the world, this will be uh, the best place for plant science research to be done in the world for generations to come. And that excites me because uh, it's, it's something that I will leave behind, uh, hopefully in better shape than when I arrived, and something that uh, will kind of be a legacy for this university for a long time to come. And as I've got uh, a few grandchildren now that are kind of growing up, who knows, uh, I think I see a couple of scientific minds in some of them. A couple of them I don't, but a couple of them I do. Uh, and, and, uh, and it's exciting to maybe think they'll, they'll work in this plant science building that will ultimately be built on our Centennial campus. So let me start out with our aspiration. I've kind of mentioned that is to be the best, to be the best leading a research and educational plant science program in the world. A lofty aspiration, but uh, I've learned in my 30 years, uh, primarily with industry, uh, set your goals high and aim for the highest goal you can achieve. So let's start out with the building. I usually end on the building, but I want to get these slides out of the way and focus on the people aspect, the training aspect of this later. But this is the, uh, the latest rendition. I will say it's the last rendition you will see before uh, uh, you'll actually start to see a building because this is the one that I tell people the plans are going from pencil to ink, meaning once they get to be ink, you don't make many changes. So this is uh, the look of the, uh, the building as it appears now in the plans that uh, where the architects are working feverishly to get uh, the, the plans done. It'll be uh, one of those iconic buildings, a building that people want to come to, walk into, touch, feel, ask questions about what's going on in the building. It, uh, it'll be fan absolutely fantastic. You see here uh, the, uh, the landscape out front. Everything uh, you'll see here has kind of been done by design. With the landscape, we'll have a message to tell. You see these little blocks here of, uh, of uh, what we call little demonstration plots, and maybe there'll be some, some cultivar varieties, hybrids that have been developed here at NC State, either in the building, work that's going on in the building, or research stations, whatever, that we can demonstrate to the public. Maybe the turf is a brand new a variety of turf. Uh, maybe some of the flowers or the plantings represent some of the research being done here. So uh, this is a, will be a fantastic place for what I'll call show and tell the public. The, uh, the lawn here, a little less than a half acre, can be set up. You can put a tent here. It'll be uh, have underground wires. You can put PA system. Uh, so you can have graduation events, social events. The first floor here is the only public floor in the building, but it'll be fantastic, a lot of glass. Uh, on the left side of the building will be a 135-seat auditorium, uh, state-of-the-art audiovisual. Uh, it can be subdivided into three separate sections of 45 uh, that you can hold concurrent sessions in. Uh, seminars, public seminars, receptions, uh, a lot of big events here, has a catering kitchen in the back. The rest of the first floor is uh, still what I'll call under development, but I guarantee you there'll be a donor wall, so if uh, we can, so that we can recognize our donors to the, the building. It'll have probably some historical component of North Carolina agriculture on that first floor. It'll also have some, uh, and you'll see this throughout the building, a lot of open, collaborative coffee kind of areas, bump and you know water cool areas where two or three of you can sit and chat, have a cup of coffee, cup of tea chat about things, uh, you'll see that throughout the building. And then on the right hand side of the building, which is the front door of the building, uh, will be the, kind of the executive offices and the staff permanent offices. Yes, question? Have you guys reached out to the history department, for example, to help you design that sort of historical? Well, yeah, and I, I would say not yet, but we are. Uh, history, art, design, uh, humanities have all been engaged. And we have yet to kind of fine tune what that looks. We've got some preliminary ideas, but we need to get that. It's a great suggestion, and we will. We had, they were on our list. Matthew Booker, uh, who's a player with GES, teaches uh, history of North Carolina agriculture. Okay. He actually revived that class after it was dormant for a very long time. 
Fantastic. He might be a great touch. I will player. reach out. Just another view of the building. Uh, the one of the unique things about the building is the greenhouse. Uh,